Okay, this will be a quick tutorial to show you how to save a PDO file to a PDF file. You need Pepecura Viewer. You don't need Pepecura Designer. You can use the free viewer program. Everything you need is built right in. Open Pepecura. Open the file you want to convert. There we go. Looks, looks like a five page PDO file. Choose print setting. From here, you can change a couple of options. You're looking at whether your file is predominantly a vector or a bitmap. And you're going to choose an option here that allows for clearer lines in the case of vector or smooths out bitmaps. You can also adjust the resolution of the bitmap elements. What you want to do is send the file to print. A normal print window opens up. In this case it shows my printer that's attached to my computer. But what I'm going to do is hit the drop down menu and choose Adobe PDF. Now the file will be printed to an Adobe PDF converter instead of a printer. I'm going to click on properties and from here I can adjust a few things about my Adobe PDF output the layout, paper quality, a number of PDF settings. I'm not going to change anything right now, but I recommend you go through the available options and see what you can and can't do with your file. Once you're ready to go, I'm printing all five pages, printing to the Adobe PDF converter. Click OK. First issue that comes up is the fact that the original file is on an A3 or A4 format. I'm printing to a letter page output. So Pepecura offers to adjust the scale of each page to fit a letter size paper. So in this case I'm going to choose yes. Now it's a normal print procedure but because it's going to become a PDF file I have to save it somewhere on my computer so this is a normal save window that opens. I'm going to choose to save on my desktop give it a file name, hit save. What it's doing now is a normal print procedure as if it was sending each page to a printer to be printed but in this case it's sending a page but to an Adobe PDF converter. Sending page one and it's creating page one. It'll go through all five pages this way the time it takes to do this will depend on the uh, the uh, content of the file itself, how many pages, uh, things like uh, how many bitmap layers. That'll decide the final fi file size as well. Once it's gone through all five pages, as if it's sent all five to a printer, it should close, and a PDF has been created. Let's have a look at the PDF. There it is. Shrink it down a bit so you can see it. And there we go. And I'm just looking at a normal five page PDF file created from the PDO Pepecura file.